What do you think about Freely's recommendation to start growing your own food and stop relying on others for food? I ask because you have mentioned in one of your videos that you won't buy land. It's not that I won't buy land. I don't have any intention of buying it right now. I do have intentions of buying it in the distant future when I have a lot more disposable cash to throw at some land and pay someone to farm the land for me, somewhere where I could see myself living 365 days a year, like Australia. The thing about growing your own food is it takes up, like, unless you're paying someone to do it for you, it's going to take up all your time. It makes so much more sense for me to spend my time making money and then taking that money and paying someone to go grocery shop for me or go make the food for me, go grow the food for me, than me doing it all myself. Growing your own food, I mean, that's, if that's your life, sure, go for it. That sounds amazing if that's what you want to do with your life. Go and grow your own food. That sounds fantastic. Hawaii would be a great place to do that. Australia would be a great place to do that. You could do that in Panama. Sure, grow your own food if that's how you want to live. That sounds amazing, but just be prepared for that to take up your entire life. And so if you don't have like a massive gold pot to sit on in terms of income or in terms of ca cash, I don't see how you're going to be able to afford doing that. It sounds great in theory, but it's like it takes it. Like I've had friends do that. I've had friends go and do their own farmland and and whatnot in Hawaii. And it's like, that's their life. It's their whole life. 365, 24 seven, they're thinking about growing the food. It's cool, it's a cool way to live if you want, but um, you don't have to do that. You can just pay someone to do it for you.